Hi, my name is John and this is Business Focus. In today's video, I will talk about or show you five ways on how to visualize your data. So let's get started. Visualizing data is a very important aspect in order to make sense of your data. So that when you analyze your data, you'll be able to make the best decision that you can based on that given information. So when describing data, one of the key tools that you can use is being able to visualize or uh, present it visually, whether using charts, graphs, or, or any of the sorts. Now, before you can even effectively present your data well or effectively, one has to understand what are the strengths and limitations of our visual, uh, visual visualization or what our eyes can and can't see. Now, obviously, out of our many senses that we use every day, our eyes are most heavily or often utilized. Now, for all of its strengths, there are its limitations here. And one of its limitations is its, uh, even though we consider we have peripheral visions, we can see on almost 180 degrees. But in reality, we tend to only focus on what's in front of us, right? In, uh, what's ahead of us. And everything else becomes blurry. So... Getting too much information can get confusing and difficult to understand. Similar with using visualization techniques to be able to understand or make sense of your data. Once you understand that, you're on your way to better improve your presentation and communicating your message. So there are five ways or five techniques to be able to visualize your data effectively. First is you want to keep it simple. Sounds simple, right? No pun intended. But the point here is you want to be able to visualize, communicate your data effectively. If there's a lot of distraction, so to speak, incomplete information being presented, then you're not doing your job. So in order to keep it simple, use of appropriate charts, proper labeling is crucial, title, uh, the X, labeling the X and Y axis, removing grid lines, the legends, and so forth. So that's the most crucial part. And obviously, in terms of choosing the right graphs, you have only three primary charts that you can use over and over. You have the bar chart, histogram, and even a scatter plot here. So the second way to improve or visualize your data is by using of proper shapes. And when we mean of shapes, there's actually one shape that you need to consider. It's actually using rectangle when you're using for a bar chart or histogram. Now, some may say, how about using a pie chart? So you use a circular or circle shape in visualizing your data here. Now, it's I, don't, I know it's common or popular for many, but there are four reasons not to use a pie chart ever again. So the first is in terms of shape. So if you compare two circular or two circles side by side, it's difficult to discern which one, how big of a gap, or difference is between one circle to another. Compare that to a rectangle in a bar chart, you can easily see which one is slightly higher or significantly higher or taller. Same goes if it's a histogram presentation. Outside of a rectangle, other any other shapes can confuse us easily and that's part of our visual limitation. It distorts our perception and you want to keep it simple, going back to rule number one. The third method in visualizing your data is by using appropriate dimensions, in particularly using two dimensions, which we, we've utilized in creating a bar graph, histogram, or even a scatter plot. Now, many would prefer to present it more fancier way, so to speak, by using three-dimensional chart. Now, obviously, using a three-dimension pie chart would be uh, fancier, but if you look at it closely, the fact that it's a circular shape, it's difficult already to see the different slices. Which one has a bigger slice or a smaller size? It's difficult to discern. The three dimension even magnifies the distortion here. So the depth perception is even difficult to discern. So now you're thinking of two things rather than just focusing on the different uh, categories that you're concerned with. So next here is... Not only is the shape important, the dimensions or two dimensions is the use of colors. So you can see in a pie chart, it uses all of those things, which is very confusing. Have you ever wondered, does color have any particular order? 
meaning is green better than blue, blue better than red, and yellow, or any color, or any favorite color that you can think of, is it better than any other colors? In actuality, there's no perceived order. And so, in reality, you just want to use one singular color for every chart that you present. That's why it goes back to the first rule, which is keep it simple. And using of actual shapes, which is using rectangles in a pie chart, oh, sorry, in a histogram or a uh, bar chart. And using two dimensions is the best way to be able to see the depth perception, which one is taller or longer in terms of your chart. In terms of color, use one uniform color to make it easier. So it does not distract you from focusing on what the data is trying to communicate. Now, stay tuned for the end. I'll give you a tip in terms of how to use colors properly here. And the fifth method to visualize your data properly is the use of appropriate size. So obviously this is connected with the use of shapes here. And size is another way of you know, confusing you in terms of how to compare which one is bigger or smaller. And again, uh, a good example of using of size is using a bubble chart. You're comparing three variables here. And if you put them side by side, it distorts the perception, the, the use of shapes, the use of size. It's difficult to discern one over the other. And if, to use, if, if you're going to use multiple colors to differentiate one size over the others, again, there's no such order in terms of colors. You have a difficult time trying to discern or distinguish which one is which. So in essence, you know, nothing against about the pie chart, but in the end, you know, those three charts that I mentioned are the only charts that you can, you're going to use for the majority of many application. Throw away the vocabulary of using a pie chart ever again. So finally, regarding colors, as I mentioned earlier, so how can you use colors to your advantage? Now, even though colors may not have a perceived order, but... Uh, gradient colors does have a perceived order. So in terms of gradient, the darker the shade of color can be construed as a higher value versus the lighter shade which is construed as a, has a lower value. So imagine you have a full spreadsheet that contains tons of values. So it may seem overwhelming when you look at it first, but using uh, gradients, or in this case using a heat map, you can easily see which values tends to stand out, which does not. Particularly in time series, whether it be sales, grades, or whatever values that you're comparing, you can see if there's a distinct pattern. And that's how powerful colors can be if used properly. So in the end, to be effective in communicating your data visually, you just have to remember those five things I mentioned earlier. You want to keep it simple, the use of proper shapes, i.e. Uh, rectangle, the bar graph, and histogram. Three is the use of two-dimensional. Now, obviously, two dimensions may seem arbitrarily, but it gets the job done. Actually, in gaming, if you're familiar, especially in fighting games like Street Fighter or even Mortal Kombat, they use two dimensions so that you can easily see the distance from one player to the other. So when you're trying to hit that opponent, you can measure the distance. If it's in three dimension, it's difficult to measure that. You need three, uh, three points of location to be able to de determine the distance. That's why two dimension, it's much simpler. It's easier. Fourth is the use of colors. Use of singular color when trying to compare multiple uh, categories or intervals. But if you're going to use colors, different colors, use a heat map. Use gradient colors. That's the best way. Fifth and final is the use of proper size. So if you're going to compare size, again, using the size of rectangle is the best way. Using any other shapes can be confusing and it's difficult to perceive the, the, the length or the size or the perception, which is you know one of our primary limitations with our vision here. Anyway, so that concludes our discussion for data visualization. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Also, you can leave your comments down below so you can suggest future topics on future videos. For more guides, tutorials, and tips, you can check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.